heard the White House talking about extending these tax cuts for those under 250000 a way to distract from the poor job numbers last Friday? No, it's a way to uh, focus on something that we all agreed on, which is uh, that these tax cuts for 98 percent of taxpaying Americans should be extended. Uh, and uh, coming together around that rare consensus, voting yes to it, and having the President sign it into law. You know, it, how could it be a reaction to something that happened a few days ago when it's been the President's position all along that these tax cuts should be extended for middle class Americans? On that very point that it's been the President's position all along, in December 2010, when he advocated an extension of all of the Bush tax cuts, including those for the wealthiest of Americans, he um, argued that raising taxes would be a quote unquote blow to our economy. So what's different from now from then? The President's position has always been that we should permanently extend the tax cuts for middle class Americans and we should no longer extend the tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans. At the time that you uh, questioned, there was a package of proposals that passed uh, that uh, uh, helped uh, the economy at a, at, at a time that was very vulnerable and uh, that the, uh, the President signed into law. What he made clear at the time was that he would not in the future support a measure that would extend tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans. And it was a point made uh, by independent economists and others uh, at the time, and, uh, and they're making it again now, that when we're talking about positive effects on the economy, it is tax cuts to middle class Americans that produce that positive effect. It is not uh, tax cuts to the wealthiest Americans who uh, tend not to spend that money as uh, quickly or as readily as, as uh, hardworking uh, middle class Americans. Uh, and uh, the cost of extending those tax cuts, $65 billion, I'm talking about for the high end, $65 billion for one year, uh, close to a trillion over 10, is prohibitive and we cannot afford it and it does not work as a matter of macroeconomic policy. We've seen what happened in the period from 2001 to 2008. We saw the impact of those policy decisions. The President said that raising taxes on entrepreneurs um, who have money, said it, he said then when entrepreneurs have money, it frees up, quote unquote, other money to hire workers. So why was the argument then that raising taxes on entrepreneurs would be bad? Well, first of all, and now it's okay. Orange, as I just made clear, the, 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 the small business. In 2010, it would be a blow to the economy to raise taxes on individuals. Now he says it's not. As I just said. We're talking 98% of the tax cuts, 